everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi my name is Hannah today I just recreated this look I did for my Instagram um, so if you aren't following me go ahead and follow me on Instagram it's just at Hannah Garski and I also popped in an outfit as well this is more of just a very casual not casual but like laid down glam look I used literally two shades in the James Charles X Morphe palette um, but yeah, it was so simple and I tried this like really cool Instagram hack for my eyeshadow So it was even simpler So if you want to know what I used on my face and what I'm wearing just keep watching So to start off with this get ready with me. I already have my eyebrows on I've actually been kind of liking like carving the mountain stuff. So for primer, I'm just going to be using my little professional primer. And I just like to kind of warm this up on my fingers and then put it on the side of my nose and my chin. Next for foundation, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Superstay foundation. I just self-tanned. Oh my god. A little bit. And as you can tell, my neck is a lot darker. So I'm going to be taking 118. This is actually my go-to color all the time. So I'm just going to be darkening it up with like, con not concealer, bronzer and stuff. So this is like my natural color. So it might actually obviously be a little bit light. I'm just going to start off with my forehead though first. And then like kind of carve my brows out with that as well. So moving on to concealer, I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, the Sculpting Concealer in Swan. This is pretty light for me so I don't go too heavy on it, but yeah. I'm going to be setting everywhere I just concealed with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Face Powder in Fairlight 10. So since my neck and everywhere else is a little bit darker than my face, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Contour Palette. I've been using this for a little bit now. Um, I honestly, as you guys can tell, don't get very many new products, so I'm just going to be contouring my forehead and my cheekbones. So for blush, I'm going to be taking my Milani Luminoso blush. This is such like a light peach super pretty blush this is what it looks like now I'm just going to be setting my face with my Re makeup revolution sport fix fixing spray I love this stuff you guys and especially for the price I'm pretty sure it's like eight dollars So for my eyes, I'm going to be recreating a look I did for my Instagram. Um, I just posted a picture and it was actually like really pretty, surprisingly. And I tried this like nude technique I found on an Instagram video. It's where like you take a curler, eyelash curler, put it like right here and just go over it. So I'm going to be taking the James Charles X Morphe palette, their collab. And I'm going to be taking the shade No Beans with a BH Cosmetics number 5 brush. I'm scared, but we're going to try to make this work. So I'm pretty much going right over my eyelid. And blend. And my right eye is literally blind, so this is hard to see. Sis. Like what? And then I'm just gonna slightly blend. 
It is literally so easy. And then I'm just gonna take like a translucent or like a really light color just to buff out the edges later on once I'm done with the eye. So this is the color that I took. So we're just gonna do this on the other eye. Hopefully works out pretty nicely. I mean, this eye didn't turn out bad at all, so. This makes it so much easier and it's so annoying. So I'm just gonna go off camera and apply some lashes and I will be right back. So now I'm just going to lightly take no beans and put it underneath my waterline. And then we're gonna go in with Spooky, which is the black shade on a very flat brush and just pack it on right up next to the waterline. And then we'll buff it out with the same brush we used for no beans. <sighs> then I'm gonna add some black gel liner and then add some bottom mascara and that is it for the eye look. Next for liner, I'm gonna be taking this NYX Slide On Glide On liner in nude suede shoes and then going over the top with my Maybelline lipstick in 530 Hot Sand. And I actually forgot to highlight, so I'm just gonna be taking the highlight shade in the palette called Face. And this is my finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be showing you guys my outfit in three, two, one.